All right, whole thirty day uh, day six. Is it uh, is it day uh, is it day thirty yet? <laughs> I'm kind of ready for it in some ways. Uh, not not really. I mean, I love the foods with whole thirty. Uh, I love the uh, kind of a little more structure in my life as far as my eating goes. You know, I'm well past for the most part the days of you know Doritos and and soda. But I really try to stay away from the soda since uh, 101 2017. It just I mean it was something for me that. I enjoyed a lot of soda. Not good. Not good. Not good. The whole thirty really gets you away from all those processed foods. Gets you back to, you know, really clean eating in a sense, and basically uh, making your own food, which at times is a struggle, but it, but it's really kind of cool too because you know you you know what goes into that food, and uh, yeah, a lot a lot of positives to that, obviously. All right, time to cook breakfast. Time to stop talking. All right, so uh, ingredients are kind of limited this morning. Got some uh, leftover mild, uh, Italian chicken sausage, onions, you know, a lot of spices and things like that, some stewed tomatoes and eggs, and gonna try to whip up a little breakfast and just kind of see how it goes. Um, yeah, going, um, going to the store today to get some essentials for sure. All right, before I make my food, it's time to make the kids some, some food. My son actually wants eggs this morning, so I'm, I'm all over that. They're pretty straight up with, uh, just eggs, you know, salt and pepper, which which is fine with me. Um, if they enjoy it, that's it's a good thing for them. Stressful morning. I definitely did not eat fast enough, and I was kind of like very much a bear to be around and, and not like I should have been uh, to, to the wife and kids. I feel like it's always just a very stressful thing too. Um, that is one thing about Whole3 I don't necessarily love. So, need to work on that. Uh, time to go coach some basketball. A bunch of 10 year olds like this lovely little man. I don't know why at times, but I feel like the whole thirty just kind of breeds chaos. Um, I, don't, I don't, and maybe maybe people that don't have kids that do the whole thirty, it's not that way. Although I get the feeling that when you take the sugar away, you take a lot of the stuff away, I get the feeling that everybody kind of has uh, either that day or days of just chaos in their life. Today, today was that day. Um, my daughter was screaming, crying. <laughs> my son was not paying attention. The, uh, the coach that uh, usually coaches basketball or is the lead coach for our 10U team, he was, uh, he's out of town. So that's it's my job. And I forgot to go pick up the ball bag yesterday and we woke up a little late and I dilly-dallied around and made eggs while I videotaped them. Yeah, I don't know. I probably don't need to be videotaping um, everything like that. So anyways, um, yeah, just a, a day or a morning of chaos. And yeah, we went, went and played basketball and we've lost, I don't want to say how many games we've lost, but we've lost them all. Um, we almost won one by, <laughs> I think we lost by two. Today we won by like six or eight and the kids just like worked their tails off and it was, it was fun to see. I mean, at 10, I'm not really like, overly concerned about if they win or lose. I want them to out there having fun, getting good exercise. But yeah, there's still that party that really would like them to win. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and they won. And those kids are so proud of themselves. And they all had good playing time. And yeah, it was, it was a great day so far. So looking forward to the rest of the day. Looking forward. I need to do some shopping. Um, and, and not the fun kind of shopping. Not clothes shopping. I need to go buy some produce. I need stuff to eat in the house. Uh, yeah, and I need to start pulling my weight a little. I need to, to cook some things. All right, the day is uh, the day is getting much better. Uh, dropped my son off uh, for a little play date with two of his buddies. Um, they're all gonna play their Nintendo Switches, and yeah, I I'm sure they'll uh, they'll have a blast. And, and I get maybe some downtime. So yeah, take this downtime to go over to Costco, grab grab some items that we haven't been able to pick up yet for Whole30 uh, on day six. But there are still you know a lot of items that that we need. I, I feel like the Whole30 January is the perfect time to start. But you really, yeah, you should do more prep in, in December to get to be ready. <laughs> you know, we've only done this like three times in January. I don't, I don't know why we didn't prepare. But, you know, the holidays are busy and you get kind of carried away with things. And, yeah, you don't always have time. So, all right, off. I'm usually uh, usually pretty nice and peaceful. Um, oh, I'm lying. I'm kind of...
kind of snarky, um, but I don't often let it out to a lot of people. Um, on the uh, on the whole 30, I think you become even more snarky. And driving around in the Costco parking lot is brutal. I mean, come on, people. It is not that hard to get to your car. Remember where it is and go there. And don't just saunter, walk with purpose. It isn't that hard. Still not 100% in on this whole idea of vlogging in public, but uh, finding all kinds of cool stuff today at Costco that um, I didn't think they would have, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Definitely found pretty much everything I was looking for and more. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the more. <laughs> we'll see how that goes over when I get home. So yeah, overall a successful trip. Uh, excited to excited to get all this home and do a little cooking. There's a couple things I've been wanting to make, so I hope I have everything else I need. Going into Trader Joe's, this could be this could be dangerous. All right, so I did a little shopping at Costco, um, as I showed you. Okay. So these are like five ninety nine. This huge bag of carrots. I think it's a five pound bag. Definitely worth it. This is the first time that I've seen chicken sausage there um, that was compliant. Price was it was reasonable, thirteen ninety nine. Not bad. Just holy um, guacamole, uh, turkey breast. This one was compliant today. Uh, roll a little bit of the uh, avocado um, inside of the turkey breast, just for like little snacks and things. Always love their ground uh, organic beef. T to me, it's perfect. I wish it was weighed out a pound, a pound, a pound. It would just make life a little bit easier. Uh, ground cumin seed, never a bad thing on Whole30. Wild Wonders uh, tomatoes looks great. I was like, hell yeah, six ninety nine for the you know the basically six of these. I chop these up again for the for the eggs and different things that we make. Um, I feel like avocados are very very often hit or miss at uh, at Costco. Um, so just kind of have to keep your eye on them because sometimes I feel like, like half of them are good and half of them are bad. But it's going with the organic uh, cage-free eggs for like $5.99 for 24. $11.69 uh, for this organic chicken stock and you get six of them. I think I did well. I bought a lot of other random things for the kids. You know, stocking up on cereal. I got some LaCroix for us and, and other things. But overall, you know, a good day. Um, as for this brewery shirt that I'm wearing, my uh, wife just went and did kettlebells today. Super cool. Uh, with a friend of hers, Janelle. And I don't know anything about the brewery other than the space was awesome. I heard the beer was good, but I haven't tried it myself yet. So yeah. I'm not promoting the brewery, I guess is what I'm saying. But I love the shirt. Super, yeah, I better move the camera a little. Super cool little shirt. But yeah, I, I think I'm getting... I think the wife is yelling at me, so I guess it's time to go and, and, and be a parent again. So here's what I'm talking about here is you take, uh, you take the turkey, I don't know why I'm crouching, I need to find a, a larger tripod, I guess, and then you get your holy guacamole, and then basically, yeah, what you do is you just, uh, you take them, and you just kind of, you know, put a little avocado on each one, roll it up, just make these little, little avocado and turkey bites. Mmm. Ridiculously good snack. Just an idea, you know, if you need something to kind of tide you over, get you through the day. It's definitely an exp expensive month for us. Um, in a sense, though, so we don't really eat out at all. Um, we'll do Chipotle maybe a couple times, you know, with the, you know, the four ingredients you can have there. But yeah, we don't eat out a whole lot on Whole30. So actually, probably, I don't know if we break even, but it, it's, it, it could be a lot worse. Actually, eating healthy, sadly, it is more expensive, but if you eat out a lot. All right, we got a box from uh, Thrive Market. Always uh, a lot of fun. This is a new thing that uh, my wife Kristen signed up for. And you have no idea what I ordered. I don't even know what she ordered. Mm. All right, we've got some coconut oil. Always nice. Hey, honey. Oh, yeah. Chipotle lime mayo. That stuff is amazing, in my opinion. Ghee butter. All right, well, key, key's not quite as exciting. And last but not least, oh, I'm gonna guess uh, probably some more avocado oil. Yes, avocado oil. So when this one runs out here, probably in about an hour, <laughs> then we'll have time for the next one. Why did you not come home? What? Why do you what? This is supposed to be amazing. This is made with pink Himalayan salt. Pink, pink Himalayan boring. salt? Boring. No? Am I literally after yeah. I work out on my camera? So yeah, still uh, still in day six, and surprisingly enough, that organic beef uh, that I just bought, I, I do have a use for it already. And uh, what I'm going to do is just make some uh, 
some taco taco meat a couple of days ago like in that first video I said hey you can't have tacos on Whole30 obviously you can't have uh, corn and flour tortillas but you can definitely have tacos so you can either take uh, sometimes we'll take those kind of uh, romaine lettuce things and make kind of like a, a leaf boat um, or just a taco salad or hell I just like it on a plate um, with some of that avocado I'll uh, use the beef uh, I use uh, tomato paste I use uh, black pepper uh, paprika, uh, crushed red pepper, uh, garlic powder, coriander, cumin, <laughs> chili powder, sea salt. Oregano is the one um, one seasoning at least that I totally didn't have today. And I remembered my uh, a, a friend of mine, um, near and dear to my heart actually, a good friend that I used to live with. She lives down in uh, Western North Carolina. And uh, she sent me some herbs recently. I've been kind of saving them for like a special dish or something. Well, this, this taco seasoning is special. And, uh, and I'm out of oregano. So there we go. Thanks, Jen. Thank, thanks for saving the day here. Um, and then the only other thing I do is the fire roasted tomatoes. And I don't have those either. So when I go pick up my son from his play date, I'll go ahead and grab a, a few cans of that probably. Because I use them in the, the chili that we do. The chocolate chili. Do taco meat. Um, and then a couple other things. Those are... Kind of the, the staples that I do make um, for uh, for Whole30. I, I don't cook a ton, but I do do the the chili and the uh, the taco meat. So, gotta gotta branch out a little bit more. Obviously, if you guys ever do want to kind of see more details of how I make the tacos, I could do a little video on that. If if you find it interesting, let me know, uh, or I can just post the recipe, which I will do um, at the bottom of this video. I'm not sure how you are with uh, with seasonings for like tacos and, and things like that, but I always like to uh, measure out two. So yeah, that way you have one for today and one for next time. And next time I don't have to worry about going through all these different seasonings again and, and find them in the cupboards. Always a joy finishing up the taco meat. Came out good today. All right, going down, uh, going to one of our friend's house to uh, to have dinner. Uh, and yeah, kind of when you're on the Whole30, you, a lot of times you just bring your own meal. It just makes the most sense. So the tacos I just whipped up, some avocado, holy guacamole, um, some beautiful uh, tomatoes that I got, um, and some salad. And we'll just make our own little taco salad and, uh, yeah, enjoy the night. So that's about it for, uh, I think that's about it for day uh, day six. Um, I need to stop saying um one of these days. Seems like a personal problem. So yeah, I think that's about it probably for day six. Uh, Hope you guys are, are doing well and, and doing what works for you, and we'll talk to you soon.